when I was four years old, my mom and I moved into a large colonial house that was built in the late 1800s. My mom always had a weird feeling about the house. There was a little bricked off section in the basement, and we never knew why it was there. My mother told me that soon after we moved into the house, I suddenly had an imaginary friend. One day, out of the blue, I told her that I had been playing with a little girl named Jenny. She thought it was just a phase, and didn't pay much attention to it. I told her that Jenny wanted me to let the cat go down into the basement so that she could play with it. My mother allowed me to let the cat go down there. It never came back. That creeped her out. Then, a few days later, I told her Jenny wanted me to go down into the basement to play with her. My mother refused and told me to go upstairs to bed. I did, and when I awoke the next morning, I had deep scratches on my back and legs. My mom decided to research the history of the house. She found an old picture of the house and the family who used to live there. She showed me the picture and asked if I recognized any of them. There were seven little girls in the picture, and, without hesitation, I pointed to one of them. The names of all of the family members were written on the back. The girl I had pointed to was named Jenny. My mother got scared, because during her research, she had discovered that the girl named Jenny had gone down into the basement one day and was never seen again. The family never found her, and they moved shortly after that. After I identified the girl in the picture, it was all way too much for my mom to handle. We moved out of the house and found somewhere else to live. When I turned 18, my mom told me all about what happened in that house. It still scares me when I think about it. My niece had an imaginary friend, but she said she wasn't allowed to tell anyone his name. She said he told her everyone would get scared if they knew it. We kept asking her, but she would never tell anyone the name. Then, one day, her mom and I were in the hallway and my niece didn't realize it. She was talking to her imaginary friend and called him by his name. Whenever I think about it, I am still creeped out. The imaginary friend's name was Lucifer. I was staying in my aunt's house when I saw my four-year-old cousin, April, sitting on the stairs. She was making funny faces. I asked her what she was doing, and she said, I'm copying the lady with the braid. There was no one else there. Where is the lady, April? She pointed up at a beam running parallel to the stairwell. And... What is the lady doing? I asked. Making funny faces, April replied. I was about to go upstairs when April said something that stopped me in my tracks. Her braid is around her neck. I asked her what she meant. April pointed up and said, The lady is hanging by her braid. She's making funny faces at me. Then April started making a face. Her eyes were wide and bugged out. Her mouth hung open, and her tongue stuck out. I realized it was the face of someone who was strangling to death. When my daughter was three, she had an imaginary friend named Kelly, who lived in her closet. She said Kelly played with her and sat in a little rocking chair while she slept. Two years later, we were watching a horror movie 
and my daughter said, That looks like Kelly. Kelly who? I asked. You know, Kelly, she replied. The dead girl that lived in my closet. I asked my niece to draw her imaginary friend, Serena. She's four years old, and when she sleeps over, she and Serena play in the living room. She says Serena likes my house. I shudder to imagine what would happen if she didn't. <laughs> 